glad you're here. I just got done taking my walk. You know, even though there are a lot of things that we can't do right now, I'm so grateful that we can still do things like go outside and enjoy the sunshine. And we can still have our Miss Kendra time together, even though it looks a little different. So the good thing about not being in the classroom is that you can invite your friends or family or whoever's with you right now to join in Miss Kendra time with us. So first, let me ask you, what time is it? Miss Kendra time! Come on. What time is it? Miss Kendra time! That's right, it's Miss Kendra time. So I'm gonna pause here and give you a chance to go get your mom or your granny or your cousin or your stepdad or anybody that you wanna share this special time with and invite them to join. Go ahead. Okay, welcome back. So we're gonna start Miss Kendra time today the way we always start Miss Kendra time, and that's with Miss Kendra's list. Yes, with Miss Kendra's list. So I'm going to uh, say the first part of the list, and when I do this, you're gonna fill in the blanks. All right, Miss Kendra's list. No child should be punched or kicked. No child should be left alone for a long time. No child should be hungry for a long time. No child should be bullied or told that they're no good. And no child should be touched in their private parts. Ugh. No child should be scared by gun violence at home or at school. And no child should have to see other people hurt each other because it makes a child not care about school. It makes a child feel sad or scared or lonely. It makes a child feel angry and, and want to fight too much. It makes a child feel like not trying hard or giving up. And it makes a child worry a lot about their family. This is what Miss Kendra says. What do you say? Those things shouldn't happen. That's right. These things shouldn't happen. But we know that they do. And that's why we talk about them. Pop quiz. Do you remember whose letters we read last time? Brandon and Natalia. That's right. Brandon and Natalia. They both wrote about the coronavirus and feeling scared about the changes that they were noticing in their lives. Let's see. What did Brandon write about? Ah, yes his worries about the coronavirus being airborne. And Natalia, hmm. Natalia felt anxious about the shelves in the grocery stores being empty and not being able to get what she needed for her family. And I have a sneaking suspicion that maybe some of you are having worries too. So let's check it out. How are you feeling today? Hmm. Wow. Thank you for sharing that with me. So, if you're having any worries today, or if anything is bothering you, or you're feeling aggravated, or sad, or scared, or lonely, maybe, just maybe, you might, want to share those feelings, maybe even with someone that's sitting next to you right now. Brandon and Natalia wrote last week, and that means that this week, we got mail from Miss Kendra. <laughs> Whoa, this is so exciting. So, what do you think? Should I open it? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Come on. Do it. Should I do it? Come on. Do it. Okay, okay. Yes. You say one, two, three, and I'll open it. 
One. One. Two. Two. Three. three. Open it! Okay, here we go. We have a letter for Brandon, and we have one for Natalia. So let's see what Miss Kendra has to say to our friend Brandon today. Miss Kendra says, Dear Brandon, I got your letter. Thank you for thinking of me during this time. I am well and also staying home to keep myself and others safe. You are feeling scared, you said. That makes sense. I think many people are feeling that way. What are you feeling scared about? You said you wonder if you could catch the virus. This is a good question. If someone around you has it, then yes, I believe it's possible that you could catch it. That is why we're all staying home as much as we can for now. If you do not feel well, do you have someone you could tell? I hope you stay safe too. I will be thinking of you. Love, Miss Kendra. And guess what? Miss Kendra sent a red bead for Brandon. Do you all remember what Miss Kendra would do with her red beads? Well, when a child wrote about their worries to Miss Kendra, or if a child told Miss Kendra about something they were worried about, Miss Kendra would ask them to put out their hand and she would take the red bead and she would press it into the palm of their hand and she would look them in the eye and she would say, this is for your strength. So, Brandon, wherever you are, this is for your strength. Great. So let's see what Miss Kendra had to say to Natalia today. Miss Kendra says, Dear Natalia, I got your letter and picture today. I have noticed empty shelves here too. You said you feel scared. Are you worried you will not have everything your family needs? Were there things you could not find? I think what can be hard is not really being sure if you will have what you need. I also wonder if you feel scared because you see that other people are feeling that way too. Being a kid in this situation can be hard because you're seeing grown-ups having a hard time too. <sighs> Deep breath. We are all in this together. I will be sending you and your family good wishes and strength through all of this. Love, Miss Kendra. And there's a red bead in here for Natalia as well. Do you remember what we say? Ready? One, two, three. This is for your strength. Great. Well, we heard Miss Kendra's responses to Brandon and Natalia. And we heard about all the worries that Brandon and Natalia were having. And we thought about and maybe even talked to our friends and relatives about our own worries. And remember at the beginning, when I mentioned how grateful I was to be able to still go outside and take walks and enjoy the sunshine, I thought that maybe for today, as a way to say goodbye, we could think about three things that we're grateful for, despite also missing a lot of things as they used to be. We might still be missing school, we might be missing our teachers, and we might feel sad that we don't get to visit our friends and family the way that we used to. But I wonder about the things that you're grateful for today. So, why don't you take a second and think about three things that you are grateful for. I'm grateful for my walks. I'm grateful that we get to still have Miss Kendra time together, even though it looks different. And I'm grateful for my family. So what are you grateful for today? Well, 
those are wonderful things. I'm so glad that you have those things in your life. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for Miss Kendra time today. And until we meet again, I'll be thinking of you. Bye. See ya.